Happy birthday, Geminis. It is the Sun Sage. And thank you guys so much for tuning into your June reading. Um, so this is for those of you who are Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, whatever you, um, whatever resonates for you placement wise, this is your reading. All right. So I'm going to take a look at your overall month of June to see what's going on, what's coming in, um, to see what you guys are going to be, you know, what, what's your theme for the month of June. All right. So again, happy birthday. All right. Let's see. Let's get into it. What's going on for Gemini's in the month of June? I'm going to grab some messages and then I'm going to clarify with the tarot. All right. What's going on for Gemini's in the month of June? Thank you. I have a uh, maiden of wind clarity. Um, this is, uh, your energy or other air signs as well. Uh, Aquarius, um, and uh, Libra. So you could be getting clarity in the month of June about a relationship, about opportunities. If something was on hold, the path feels like it's clearing for you in June. We have the great void, a DT. All right. Um, so I feel like this is you seeking clarity. All right. Um, in the month of June when it comes to something. Let's see. And we have made in a fire revolution. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it there. So um, I feel like you guys are going to be seeking clarity in the month of June. I feel like this is um, a crossroads for you. Something that you are um, <clears throat> something that you are about to get involved in. I feel like it's going to be a big deal for you. And so you just want to make sure you're making the right decision here. Um, and picking up with this maiden of fire, this revolution. There's a lot of fire energy. You guys possibly will be connected to a fire sign. Um, in the month of June, and there's some energy coming through that this is going to change your life forever. All right. So let's get into it. Let's see why these energies are here for you for June. Um, let's see why we have the maiden of wind clarity. Why is this coming through <clears throat> for you in June? Um, the six of pentacles. All right. So a financial situation may be looking up. All right. This feels like you get a loan. This feels like you get some sort of assistance, some sort of help in something that I feel like if you're like with this revolution here, like let's say you're trying to be um, you're trying to get a book published. I feel like you actually find somebody or a company or organization um, that wants to invest in you or back you. I feel like there's something here that you love to do that is going to play out for you um, in a positive way. I have this King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you will get clarity on a relationship or a friendship that could possibly turn into a relationship. This feels like if you're with a Scorpio, this relationship goes from a friendship to a lover's situation. And then you guys sort of take it from there. But I feel like this is somebody who has more feelings for you than they're admitting at this time. But I do feel like um, June will be a month where um, you share feelings. It's about sharing for you guys, right? Um, you have some ideas, um, you're at a crossroads, you're like, what, you know, how much should I invest in something? Um, but I do feel like you guys are getting some sort of assistance, um, in the month financially too. Um, it feels like a loan. If you've been waiting for an answer on, on the loan, or if you had received like a few, um, you've gotten declined for some things, it feels like in June you get approved. All right, let's see what we have with this Six of Pentacles. Page of Swords, you guys are waiting for some mail. Um, something is important to you that is going to um, be a symbol of a new beginning for you. And so you're waiting for it. Ace of Pentacles, confirmation that this is financial, confirmation that something big is about to happen. You just have to continue to be patient. Um, I do feel like you guys are on the verge of creating a new business. Um, you could be making new connections. Um, there could be new friendships coming in for you. I I feel like if you take a class or something, like let's say you do like a um, like an exercise class or you do some type of writing class, you're going to meet someone really special, very similar to you. Um, but I feel like a lot of you are tapping into your talents in the month of June. Um, so you're getting clarity financially. You're getting clarity on something you're investing in. Um, yeah, Seven of Cups, you have a lot of options coming your way. The King of Swords is going to represent that need, that desire um, to stay 
focused, to stay disciplined, to not get carried away, to not get out of control, to keep yourself balanced in the month of June because things are going to, I feel like you're getting information. I feel like you're meeting new people. I feel like you're getting new opportunities in June. And so I feel like there's this need here to make sure that you, um, with this Aquarius energy and the King of Swords, this need to make sure that you keep your, you keep a level head. Okay. You keep a, a level head about you. Um, What's this? Um, there's something that has been bothering you or confusing you with this Seven of Cups. You want more information on it. Um, the Tower. You do get that information in June for sure. Um, I do feel that coming through. I'm not feeling stuck energy. I'm not even feeling like you guys are stuck right now. I'm feeling like just what happens for you guys during this month is that you you get the clarity that you've been seeking about the, a situation. Um, it does feel financial. It also feels like there's um possibly a friendship, you know, with somebody hanging in the balance. Um, maybe you and this friend were on the outs. Maybe there's some energy that there was tension between you. Um, you you spent some time away. Um, somebody has a breakthrough. Um, let's see what comes after this tower. Scorpio energy showing up for you, Gemini. What's going on for you in the month of June? Um, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so I do feel like whatever it is that you're getting clarity on, it brings you that closure that you've been looking for, right? Um, I feel like there's something that's coming in your life. Um, so, some new things coming in your life, and so this is that need to close out any old doors. This, this includes relationships. I mainly feel like you're ending relationships if you're dealing with another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you get that clarity that you need. Um, somebody else, I feel like, comes in the picture and starts investing in you. Um, possibly a water sign. We have the Queen of Cups here. So you guys go, okay, I or, or a Scorpio. You could be anything but a Scorpio. But I also... Um, I'm mainly just picking up that whatever relationships need to go, um, friends that you need to stop talking to, you may get that realization in the month of June. Okay, I got what I need. I got that confirmation. Um, it doesn't have to be drama. It doesn't have to be, you know, stressful. I can peacefully let this relationship go now that I got that closure. So closure feels like a big theme for you, um, along with starting something new. Aditi, the great void, representing that weird, awkward transition phase that people go through um, when you're closing something out and you're headed towards something new. It could feel like you're not doing anything or like you're stuck or like nothing's happening. But because you have that maiden of fire, that revolution after that, things start to pick up for you. So why do we have a DT, the great void for Gemini's in the month of June? Why do we have a DT? All right. What's going on for Gemini's in June? temperance all right so this is when you know after that closure after you get what you need i feel like after you get some um help some some financial good news and and possibly there are some friendships that are closing out while you welcome in new friendships i do feel like there's going to be a period of sort of like pause right um this is telling me that you guys are going to feel the need to rest in the month of June, you're going to feel the need to, some of you will be traveling the third week of June, or you want to travel. Um, some of you, your birthday is the third week of June. And so you're planning on going somewhere, uh, somewhere, um, uh, traveling somewhere like a vacation. So I do feel like you're giving yourself time before you start having that fun, before you start going all out. Um, you know, you're just, uh, you just looking at things, um, from this perspective of peace, um, from this perspective of healing, you know, kind of like a, I'm not even mad type energy for those of you that have to end relationships. You're going to be very calm in the month of June. Um, very calm. You're getting birthday money. I feel from a friend, somebody's getting $600 or $6,000, um, something like that, or close to it. Why is temperance here? Sagittarius. Um, the will. If you're starting a connection with a fire sign, it looks good. Um, I do feel like it starts off as a friendship first. Um, I also feel like the will is here representing Sagittarius energy, just like a, a temperance is. 
So if you're meeting a Sagittarius, things could be looking good. Um, if you're running into somebody who um, is like a, a friend even, right? Um, you guys have similar things in common. Um, you guys have similar interests. You possibly want to go into business together. It looks good. That will of fortune is confirmation that whatever you don't rush into, don't rush into um, anything in the month of June. If you take your time, if you're patient, it feels like it is going to fall into your lap. Some, um, some, some good fortune. Um, financially, things look good. Yeah, the Hermit, the Knight of Swords. There's a, a some of you have an air sign who wants to come back into your life. Um, I feel like this person comes out of nowhere, but it's not really out of anywhere. They can feel you separating. They can feel you vibrating higher. They can feel you moving on. This person regrets how they treated you, Five of Swords. So they start rushing back in. Look, just as soon as your fortune starts to change, right? So somebody rushes back in just as they see things starting to change for you. It really does feel like an air sign that you're trying to get rid of, but it can also be um, possibly a Sagittarius. But um, Libra is represented here, Virgo is here as well. I feel like this person, right as you're finding your peace, they start coming back. All right, let's see what's going on with this Knight of Swords. For Gemini, let's see what's going on with this Knight of Swords for you guys. All right, what do you guys have? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so, all right, so there's a Gemini here who was dealing with somebody who wasn't ready to settle down. This person was emotionally unavailable. This person was possibly dealing with other people. And so I feel like if you guys had a, a tough situation of having to find closure with that person, there's that breakup energy, you weren't sure what to do. Um, that's why that clarity could be there as well. Um, I'm mainly picking up though, if you're dealing with an air sign. So for those of you that may not be dealing with an air sign, you may not be resonating, right? But you know, it can resonate, but just keep in mind, there are very specific energies showing up here and I'm calling them out. So I um, just want everybody to be clear on that. But it feels like if you were having doubts about a relationship with someone and there was a breakup, there was the closure, um, there was the just letting it go, being peaceful about it, right as you start finding your peace again, right as you start having that good fortune and um, doing things in a peaceful, high vibrational way, this person comes back and goes, I'm seeing I want you to know first, right? Um, this person wants to let you know they're emotionally available now. They're single now. Um, this person may even be talking about some things you want to hear with the sun. They could be revealing some things, possibly feelings, right? We did see that King of Cups, somebody who may have been trying to um, act as if they didn't care about you as much as they did, but it comes out in June, right? So I do feel like just as you are moving forward and starting to progress, someone comes right back in in the month of June. What is this nine of pentacles about? Yep, it's the Hierophant. Now they're emotionally available. Now they want to talk about this. Feels like somebody that's like, let's go to church together. Um, let's go to the, you know, um, to the family picnic or something like that. This is somebody who's trying to include you now. So, you know, you guys were like wanting this for a while. And it feels like this person was not committed to the idea of settling down and being stable until they saw you start to be, to find your peace and saw you start to move forward without them. I feel like this person person um, felt that need to come back into your life, Six of Swords. So there, I mean, I don't really feel like you guys have any desire to reconnect with this person, but it does feel like somebody is rushing back in. Some of you may possibly be meeting a, um, a earth sign. Okay. I feel like this person is, um, let me see why this Hierophant is here. If you're meeting an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, um, okay, Six of Cups. This could be somebody that you already know. Um, I'm torn because I feel like this person wants, likes you, starts liking you even more and wants to be with you. Something feels like this person may be attached to a Cups if they are Earth sign. So just be mindful of that. This could be somebody... Look, it's your birthday month. You're probably going to be looking good. You're probably actually going to have at least three people coming back or three people wanting to be with you or be in your energy, okay? If it's an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, this person wants to be with you. 
even if they're with someone else, they want to be with you. Two of Cups, right? Um, there's something about the Two of Cups, though, not coming out. It makes me feel like this Two of Cups isn't representative of you and them, but possibly them and someone else. And they need to, um, if they truly do miss you, if they truly do want to be with you, hard find Six of Cups, then they have to make a decision here. But somebody definitely feels like they are um, coming back um, emotionally available. Someone is, <laughs> all right, in the month of June. So let's move on to the Maiden of Fire for you guys, Revolution. So this looks like you're doing big things, <laughs> okay? This feels like you're doing big things. You're um, following a passion or your passions, okay? So that means uh, for those of you that have always wanted to um, join a dance team, you're doing it. For those of you that have always wanted to start a, your own business, you're doing it. I feel like this is the start of something big for you. Um, your birthday energy is motivating you, pushing you and uh, incentivizing you to go big. Okay. What is this um, maiden? Yeah. The king of swords. Um, a lot of you are getting your affairs in order in the month of June, right? You're like, okay, I want to start this business. So I got to start, you know, I got to hire an advisor. I got to talk to a lawyer. I got to talk to a financial advisor. Like, I feel like you're doing things that are going to um, put you um, so that you don't fail, right? A lot of you do not want to fail as something you're about to start in June. So you're like, I want all the professionals helping me. I will pay for that help. Um, and I feel like you got it. Like the six of pentacles feels like you're okay financially. So I feel like you're going to get a mix of help. You're going to be putting money out. Like if you're, you know, applying for a loan, um, you know, I feel like you get the loan. If you have to pay someone, I feel like it's not going to be that much. Like they're going to give you a great deal with something, but I do feel like you're seeking the advice of someone, a professional, a lawyer, somebody, um, who can help you start these endeavors that you're working on. Yep. King of Wands, King of Pen and Queen of Pentacles. So um, part of this revolution, yeah, because I got the Two of Cups again at the bottom. So part of this revolution is that you do have somebody in the month of June. That energy is very strong. Okay, I was trying to like, <laughs> you know, uh, see what was going on and, 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 and kind of push it to the side if it wasn't coming through for you, but now it's coming through for you. All right. It feels like there is someone who may possibly do be divorcing someone, a Libra showing up, a Leo is showing up and a Capricorn is showing up. And I told you air signs, fire signs, and we even had earth energies in here. So you guys may have more than one person interested in you. Of course, the month of June, somebody could be divorcing. Um, somebody could be um, trying to block you from meeting someone new. There's just a lot going on in your love life. I feel in the month of June, it's not going to be boring at all. But again, you guys have emerged as this uh, butterfly. You have emerged as this very independent. Um, I'm going to focus on myself, my health, my increasing wealth, and I'm not going to focus on love. I feel like you guys are kind of turning a blind eye to anybody romantically interested in you. It's nice to know you have people romantically interested in you, but I feel like your attitude is kind of like, eh, that's nice. Anyway, right? Some of you may be the one dating more than one person through your pentacles. If there's any third party interest, Energy for Gemini's in the month of June. It is because you are casually dating, possibly a fire sign. Again, Leo Sagittarius strongly here, or, or earth sign. I mean, I'm sorry, or earth sign. Yeah, Capricorn Taurus strongly, or a air sign Libra Aquarius strongly. All right. Um, and so you may decide, hey, I'm just going to date more than one person. All right. That is true. Like, you know, I feel like a lot of you are in a different position now and you want to know who's right for you. So eight of pentacles, right? As you start to build your empire, as you start to increase your finances, as you start to um, create your businesses using your talents and skills, I feel like a lot of you are more focused on how you can be abundant independently. However, having that person, that person in the month of June, feeling like you merge with this person in some way, the ten of cups, feeling like somebody meets someone's family or someone is invited to something that's sacred or important to someone one that you're dealing with. So um, evolution, I'll say, like with the three of pentacles to the eight of pentacles, um, there's energies here that um, 
because of your hard work, because you are freeing yourself from any relationships that no longer serve you, you have a lot more room and space for positive things to come into your life, even, you know, multiple suitors, right? Um, multiple qualified suitors, by the way. All right. Um, you guys have to make a decision. I don't feel like you do that in the month of June. You don't go, I need to choose. Nope. I feel like you guys have your cake and eat it too. And I feel like you're also um, staying focused in your career or your finances, right? That's very important to you at this time. So you guys may be the ones that would like to stay unattached while entertaining people because you got some kings here, right? They're very interested. I feel like you guys leave that knight of swords alone, whoever that person is. Um, even if they're coming back, um, whispering sweet things in your ear, um, something about them, it feels like you're done with the past, right? It feels like you're trying to move forward um, and that you're done with that. So let me grab a message for you guys for June. Let's see what we have for Gemini's in June. What is your message, All right? You have wings, okay? You never needed those wings to fly. So this was what I was picking up of that energy, that momentum. You guys are soaring, that butterfly energy. I feel like you're becoming, you're evolving and becoming that person you always known you can be. And you did it by releasing. You did it by um, letting go of connections that didn't serve you, jobs that didn't serve you. Um, you know, opportunities that never materialize. You were like, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to start fresh in something. Right. And so I feel like it pays off for you in a way that you start having a lot more confidence in yourself. Right. I do feel like you guys do pretty well financially in, um, the month of June, but it actually feels like things can get a lot better, especially if you're representing that queen of pentacles, um, energy and you got this eight of pentacles, keep working, keep doing what you're doing. You're going to see much bigger results. You're going to be able to buy that house. Somebody's saving for a house with that 10 of cups here. Um, somebody's definitely saving for some type of property, um, possibly to put your business in. So I feel like if you keep working, you keep saving, you're definitely going to have that opportunity to have that new thing that represents for you um, a strong, solid foundation. All right. So that is what I have for you, Gemini's. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Happy birthday again. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.